All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushar, Ba'ashem, Rakakadash. And that's the true Hebrew names of the Heavenly Father in the name of His only begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, in the Lashwan Kadash. That's the Holy Tongue, the Paleo Hebrew. Yahweh is who the world ignorantly calls the Most High God or Heavenly Father. And Yahweh means He is, He, he, he is to be, He exists. Ba'ashem means in the name. Yahweh Shai is who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And Yahweh Shai means he is the Savior, he is the Deliverer. Bahashem in the name. Raka Kadash is the Holy Spirit. We want to give a double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well and taught us this truth. And peace and salutations to Akiyam that's pushing this word throughout the four corners abroad with truth and sincerity. And Shalom to the Akiyam Wa. Akiyam Wa Athwats, peace and blessings to the brothers and sisters that may be tuning in, studying in, and learning under the vibration of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. We're two brothers out of the GMS Boston camp back with a quick lesson. I'm the brother Tazawar. And as you can see on the screen, we got an image of the beginning of sorrows. And, you know, there's uh, little uh, images of, uh, you know, war, uh, natural disasters, whether it's storms, tempests, tornadoes, earthquakes, you know, famine. So, and these is, these is prophecies, these is uh, uh, events that's going to happen in the Bible in the last times, in the end times. You know, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, who the world knew called Jesus Christ, told the apostles in Matthew 24 that uh, the, the, these are the signs and, and times of, of the coming of his, uh, of uh, clues of, of the coming, of his second coming. And, uh, you know, before we can, uh, and before the Lord can establish a heaven on earth with peace and safety and, and, and righteousness, he soon has to come with chaos, plagues and destruction and woes and mass death to get rem to remove this uh, heaven. And this heaven is uh, a rulership, which is uh, guarded or, or, or controlled by Esau, Edom. You know, so the Lord has to bring these plagues to destroy this, w this world, you know, and this is what we're here to uh, warn you. You know, we were set up through the spirit and power of Yahweh Al Shai to be a watchman, to give warning and to uh, uh, to, to pretty much uh, uh, tell you uh, Israelites to repent before these days draw nigh. man. Um, so we're just going to move through the spirit. We don't got nothing uh, jotted down and we pray everything's edifying. Isaiah 62 verse 6. I have said watchmen upon thy walls mm -hmm. O Jerusalem. We shall never hold a peace day nor night. Ye that be mentioned of the Lord keep not silence right. and give him the rest till he establish and till he make Jerusalem a praise on earth. See, so the Lord set up these watchmen. These are the men of the Lord, the prophets the, from the line of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Israelites are the only true prophets, you know, uh, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. So our job is to, to give warning, to, to, to prophesy the downfall of, of this wicked kingdom and warn uh, uh, nations about the time of war, of evil, of famine, and of pestilence. Because that's the job of a true prophet, as according to Jeremiah 28 and 8. But we're not going to uh, uh, give no rest we're going to constantly push this word and push this gospel uh until our lord comes back and we know that you know this uh, uh, our testimony is going to also lead us to being persecuted put into jail or even be put to death because we are adversary to this world just like esau edom is adversary to the lord we are against the wickedness uh, of, of america and, and what's going on uh, around the four corners of the earth so and the lord said that he is uh, uh, furious with this place so he has to bring plagues upon the earth man but that's the job of a true prophet i'll get it real quick Unless you got something else. No, I got it, bro. Um, just bear with me. I'm loading it. Can you just get Jeremiah 28 real quick? I got you. Uh, Jeremiah 28 and uh, 8. And I'm so Jeremiah this, 28 verse 8. And it reads, uh, mm -hmm. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries mm -hmm. and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. Yeah, Khan, and, and, and I, I mentioned earlier, that's the that's the true task of a, of a man of the Lord, you know, prophesying the downfall of a great kingdom and great nation, which is America. America is that last so-called, quote unquote, great nation that's that's going to fall. You know, it's that well, America is that last standing nation that's going to fall by the uh, hands of the Lord, you know, and we're prophesying it of war and evil or pestilence. And these are the signs that's coming to America, man. You know, you got something to add? Or? Yeah, no, if I may add, right, this is uh, pretty much the job description of a prophet, man. If you call yourself a prophet, 
uh, that's what a prophet uh, duty is, man, to prophesy, to say things before they actually come to pass, man. That's and, right. and we know, pursuant to Revelation 19, verse 10, the testimony of Yahweh Shai, the spirit of prophecy. So that's if right. you are indeed a prophet, you're going to be hated, man, because uh, whenever the prophets was on the scene, they have always been hated. We know, we know, like you said before, before the Lord uh, bring down a kingdom, he always raised up the prophets to let the people know what time it is, to let mm -hmm. the people know that uh, uh, shit is about to get go down. Impending uh, danger. With, uh, repentance, you know, mm -hmm. uh, seek him, you know what I'm saying? And that's exactly what it is. And we know ultimately the only people that can seek Yahweh by is uh, the, the elect of our people, the elect of your so-called black Hispanics and other Americans, man. That's you know? right. Yeah, Connor, I got Matthew 24 and I'll start at verse 3. Uh, and as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am anointed, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See the see that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For a nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines, and pestilence, and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Yeah, pretty much these are the chronological uh, 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 event, you know what I'm saying, that's going to take timeline, place. Yeah. The timeline that's, that's, uh, of the events that's going to take place before Yahweh Shai make his uh, second coming. That's you know, right. you're going to have uh, 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 deceivers, you know, uh, even among uh, 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 Israelites, you're going to have, you're gonna have uh, false prophets, false teachers, pretty much that's going to bring uh, then the heresies, man, uh, 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 yeah, things yeah. that are contrary to the doctrine of Yahweh Shai, man. You know, this is, uh, the scripture says, uh, all these uh, the beginning of sorrow so ultimately this is the beginning and uh as we get closer and closer to this devil going down you're gonna see uh thing become more more evident more being made manifest in front of your eyes and you can no longer deny the power the majesty of your how shaman because mm -hmm. uh when this thing come to pass, you're going to acknowledge a higher power. And we're telling you, his name is Yahweh. His son's name is Yahweh Shai, man. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what's, uh, what's about to come over the earth, man. Uh, uh, as prophets, our service, our reasonable service, we are unprofitable servants. Our reasonable service is pretty much to fo to warn you, to that's warn right. you of the danger ahead, man. The prophets of all, they was known as seer, visionary. They are able to see the vision. And the duty is to pretty much make the vision clear to you, to That's explain right. the vision to you, so that when all hell be close, you can see you didn't know. Yahweh Shai says, if I had not come, they had not sinned, uh, but I come, they have no clue for the sins. So, That's worth right. paraphrasing. So, when all these things come to pass, man, you're not, you're not going to have an excuse, you know? That's right. And most people are, are, are not going to see it coming because they're in darkness. They've been taught that the that the Lord is going to be all peaceful and he's all loving and all caring and all merciful, which he is to the elect. But, you know, the, the Lord also has his balance uh, and, and attributes. He is furious. He is coming with uh, with uh, 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 with death and uh, woes and destruction. So it's going to catch a lot of people as a thief in the night, as the scripture says, man. But as we preach this word at, at, and, and I'm going to read the next verse, it said all these things are the beginning of sorrows. In verse nine, it says, then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you and you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake see so people uh, are not used to the vibration of hearing that the lord is going to come with wrath with anguish with death and, and, and mass killing because they've been uh programmed and and numbed with the the the, the witchcraft up through these uh false religions and and uh false gospels and false prophets and in and, 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 uh you know catholicism and christianity so this is why they're going to uh, uh hate the prophets of the lord you know this is why they're going to deliver us to the kings and rulers uh, uh offer us up into uh, uh to these prison camps or even want us to be put to death because they're not used to the uh, uh the righteousness of the scriptures man yeah if I may add also to you, make a good point, right? They're not used to see so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans come, uh, condemning the world, man. They used right. to see people bow down, you know, uh, uh, pretty much uh, do whatever uh, Esau tell them to do, man. Yeah. Now they see a new, a new, a new thing, you know, a new, uh, something new, man. It's the so-called right. black men, Hispanics and Native Americans all over the world, man, proclaiming the coming of a Messiah. 
the coming yeah, of right. a new kingdom, and, and pretty much this is this is terrifying to the to the to the elite of Esau, man. Yeah, because we're coming together in righteousness with peace. This is bringing us together. The, these other nations are so used to being programmed through the propaganda of the news outlets and you know in the media, like we're just a savage type of uh, nation that we only kill each other. We're deadbeat dads. We're drug dealers. We're fatherless. Uh, we're, we're bastards. You know what I'm saying? Where they push a narrative that we're just a negative, savage type of nation, but through this truth, you know, we're coming in unison and we're speaking against the wickedness of this earth, man. And, and, and now Esau mainly can't hide himself. You know, the, his skirt has been lifted. The cat is out of the bag. You know, he had power and secrecy and, and, and fooling the masses with his witchcraft. But now, you know, the Lord has his, like you brought up that first uh, precept, got set up watchmen, you know, that will never hold their peace, man, and give them no rest day or night, roughly paraphrasing, because... You know, the Lord has woken us up. Now we're the mouthpiece of the Lord and we're here warning our people. It's time to, to wake up out of the uh, uh, out of the illusion, out of the matrix that Esau has put uh, on you since you were born and, and seek a, a higher vibration and seek righteousness. Because once our people, the election are sealed, this is when, you know, the, the four horsemen, as you see in these images, which represents the plague, the famine, the death and destruction is coming, man. Come. Romans 13 verse 11 and that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep mm -hmm. for now is our salvation nearer than we believe that's right you want to speak on it yeah that's exactly what it is man knowing the time that now it is high time man you know because like this knowledge is being made available man you know what i'm saying all over the world man this, this word like i like to say right elder apostle ram like ram like has something that he says uh right now the spirit is in hyperdrive, you know what I'm saying? Now the truth is, made, is being made available, man. You know, uh, uh, but there's going to come a time is you're not going to be able to find it, man. That's right. Says, uh, oh, you know, real quick, my, my phone, I cut you off. But as you said, this word is being on hyperdrive, this gospel. And as I, and I, I got off the chapter, but we will read in Matthew 24. If we read a couple more verses, it will say this gospel we preach throughout the four corners of earth. Then the end shall come. So this word is going to have to be pushed throughout the four corners abroad and the election be sealed. And then... You know the destruction is gonna come, man. Come, on, mm -hmm. that's right. Come, on. he says, uh, for now it, it is high time to wake out of sleep. Mm -hmm. Uh, for now is our salvation nearer than we believe, and we know that's exactly what we're hasting for salvation. The very word, the very definition of salvation is to be rescued, to be mm -hmm. salvaged. Mm -hmm. You know, so we are, uh, we are, you know, the Lord put us in a condition that we have no other way out but through your house shy, man. That's right. And it is our salvation. So guess what? Pretty soon, these devils, they're going to show their horn, man. You're going to know that Esau is your enemy. And That's it's right. going to come. It's going to make war with us, with the remnant, That's especially right. those that have the testimony of your house shy. So that's exactly why we're going to need to be salvaged. We're going to be right. too, we're going to be saved from the head of these devils, man. That's right. And that's why we say our Lord's will. And as the scripture says, he that endure to the end. You know, when you say to, when you go into that word endure, you got to go through suffering pain and suffering and, and hardships and hard times and it says he that endured to the end the same shall be saved so again going back to the people thinking that they could just go to the sunday's uh, service and 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 say sweet jesus and think they're saved no you can't choose the lord the lord has to choose you and you can't just be saved with just you know uh, ducking your head into a, a, a water, like being baptized. Mm. You got to actually uh, change your ways, man, and actually seek the Lord, man, and pray that he saves you in this impediment danger, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, in order for you to be saved, right, you got to have wisdom. Mm -hmm. This wisdom Fear is Lord, pretty man. much it's gonna, what's going to preserve your life from the sad perils that's about to come, man. And ultimately, so like, you got to be an Israelite. Mm -hmm. You know, this is not for all, all nations. And mind you, yes, there are Israelites that look like a, a heathen nation, but those that really truly believe in the, in the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai and in this gospel, whether you look so-called Chinese, so-called Russian, so-called uh, Arabic, if you believe in this doctrine and gospel, you know, and you come in the name Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, you most likely are an Israelite, man. So, so it's like this is not for all nations. This is only for the Israelites, man. Mm -hmm. But you gotta endure. You gotta go through that suffering, mm -hmm. and you gotta trust in the Lord in these latter days, man. And the and this is why Jacob's trouble is 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 a time that's going to pretty much get rid of the undesirables, the wicked of of of, of Jacob, you Israelites. Mm -hmm. And it's also going to remove these heathen nations, because that's judgment upon the earth, man. Hmm. I got something. Got real quick. Got 
2nd Ezra 16 verse um, 17 Woe is me, woe is me Who will deliver me in those days The beginning of sorrows and great mornings The beginning of famine and great death The beginning of wars And the power shall stand in fear The beginning of evils And what shall I do when these evils shall come Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. See, so this is what's coming. Evil times, which is bad times, great sorrows and great death, famine, mm -hmm. plagues, as you can see on the screen. You know, this is all of the Heavenly Father. But it's still these these things coming. Most people still won't turn from their wickedness. They won't see it coming because ultimately they don't have the light. They're still in darkness. And the Lord is controlling who will be able to see, who will be able to navigate and, and repent and, and seek him in these latter days, man. Mm -hmm. But this is why our this is our job. This is why we're set up to pretty much be the mouthpiece, to 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 be the med the mediator to, to the Lord. As the Lord is the mediator to Yahweh, you know, we're the ones that's the mouthpiece to, to pretty much wake you up and to, uh, uh, to make you repent, you know? Yeah, come on. And it says, um, Behold, famine and plagues, tribulation and anguish are a scourge to, for amendment. You know, so pretty much these are different avenues that the Lord going to use to punish you you or your people out here, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because like, uh, like, or like we always bring it out, the Lord is pretty much making a way out. The Lord is telling you there's going to be destruction yeah. and he also giving you a way out. But we know ultimately the vast majority of our people, they're not going to take heed. They're mm -hmm. going to keep living the wicked life. You know what I'm saying? Ob obviously, the Lord going to allow Esau to be to be to 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 lay a, a trap and snares for you man you're gonna fall into the trap of these devils the same uh judgment that the lord has for esau guess what two thirds of our people they're gonna be partakers of the judgment of the man. that's right because you refuse to 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 take heed man and ultimately that's gonna be to your destruction you know? that's right verse 21 behold victuals shall be so good cheap upon the earth that they shall think themselves to be in a good case and even then shall evils grow upon the earth the sword famine and great confusion yeah because right now right it seems like everything going back to normal like they are about to to open the 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 lift up certain uh, uh, um, amendment you know what i'm saying so it feels like up. that's the calm before the storm man you know and so it feels like oh oh most people think that oh this is uh america will get back to normal they're gonna live the life that they had before you know what i'm saying they're gonna be uh uh but you know do all kind of things, but 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 that's exactly that's the trick that the Lord Yahweh Hashem and Shai lay out for you, man. When you take peace and safety, guess what? Destruction gonna come suddenly, man. That's right. You know, and that's exactly what it is. And ultimately, uh, that's it, that's the advantage we have uh, 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 ahead of you people out there because we know ultimately that the Lord, uh, be the Lord's uh, day is compared as a thief in the night. I got it, a yeah. thief comes when you least expecting it, man. When you're not paying attention, that's, that's when right. he comes and breaks into your house. Come on, I got First Thessalonians 5 verse 1. But of the times and seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. Mm. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction come up upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Mm. He says, but the, of the times and seasons, brethren, the brethren is the brotherhood, the, 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 the elect, the, mm. the prophets, ye have no need that I write unto you. Because ultimately, though the brethren that's going to be woke, that's going to be paying attention, they're going to be measuring the time diligently, be prepared, and they're not going to uh, uh, be caught as a thief when the Lord it comes but for the others you know again they're caught up in the world they're caught up in uh, uh trying to see if this uh, uh america will go back to normal and healing and unity and, and they're gonna be ha pretty much have their guard uh, um, uh, um down mm -hmm. you know and that's when the law is gonna strike people mm -hmm. are gonna think it's peace and safety uh no more uh mass people are taking this uh, uh maxine mm -hmm. you know and things are gonna go back to normal and that's when the lord is gonna come man you know, mm -hmm. and it says this, this sudden destruction is compared to when a woman is giving birth pains, yeah. travaileth with child, which yeah. is pain and sorrows and anguish. Yeah. So that just shows that this bad times and evil times are, 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 are ahead of us, man. Yeah, because like once a woman is giving a birth to a child, right? Once the birth pain kicks in, there's no going back, man. It's That's gonna right. keep going. It's gonna keep moving forward, man. Yeah, there's no medicines or anything that can help you, uh, help the woman numb the pain, mm. and that's pretty much uh, symbolic to Jacob's trouble, man. When these uh, our troubles come, ain't gonna be no just like uh, the purge. You know how they say it's a 24-hour uh, event, mm. you know, and then it'll stop. Everything will go back to normal. Nah, when all hell breaks loose in, in, in the world, 
it's going to continue. There's going to be more uh, plagues, more sword, more death, more famine, and more anguish, you know. So this is why it's a time to seek the Lord while he may be found. Because soon, again, this word is going to be uh, um, sh uh, shortly and scarce, man. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a famine of the word. Also, there's going to be a famine of food and water and also of, 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 of hearing this word, man. Come on. So Ecclesiastes chapter 5 or 7 Make no tearing to turn to the Lord, mm -hmm. and put not off from day to day, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the days of vengeance. That's right. You know, and that's exactly what it is, man. Uh, make no tearing, man, to turn to the Lord, man, and put not off from day to day. You know, when you hear this gospel, man, hey, man, that's your, that's, that's, that's the Lord pretty much extended his hand to you, man. That's yeah. the Lord pretty much giving you a way out, man. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So don't, don't put it back. Don't don't say, I'll, 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 I'll take about it. I'll come back tomorrow. Now, nah, man. Yeah, being lax, like it, bro. Being lackadaisical. Mm. When you hear this word, you should be uh, Such an urgency, in an right? urgency to try to get right, try to hear, to hear this knowledge and get more of this gospel. Ultimately, repent. Mm -hmm. You should repent. You should want to change your ways because the times are short. Like the brother meant, uh, read, uh, knowing it's a high time to awake out of sleep because salvation is nearer than we believe. So the elect uh, are going, and the ones that have that light know that, hey, the times that are barking upon us just shows that the Lord's coming soon. Mm -hmm. So salvation's nearer than we believe. But those that's not watching, that means destruction sooner than they believe. You know what I mean? It's going to be soon for them. Mm -hmm. So this is why you make no tarrying and putting out off from day to day, man. Yeah. You know? Come on, come on. It says, uh, in thy security, thou shalt be destroyed mm. and perish in the days of vengeance. So when you think everything is all good as normal, when you think, oh, I, I have it all figured out, no, no. they're about to open, they're about to lift up the section, you know, we're going to, you're going to live your best life. Hey, that's when the Lord going to open his, uh, 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 his wrath, man, open his armory and bring forth uh, his sword, uh, sword feminine pestilences, man. And uh -huh. you, and when all hell breaks loose, you're pretty much going to, uh, yeah, no be clue. like a ch chicken. You're gonna be able, like a chicken with your, your head cut off. You're not gonna be able to know how to move, man. That's you right. know, and, and that's exactly mm -hmm. that's exactly what the day of Yahweh by Shimon Shine tells, man. You that's know? right. If you don't repent, you ain't gonna have no cloak for your sins. No, no one to guard you and protect you in these days, man. Huh. This is why it behooves you to hear this word and be take and make an action and, and seek the Lord now. Come huh. on. That's our It's uh, uh, Isaiah 46 verse 10. In it, um, verse 9, remember the former things of all, for I am the most high, there is none else, for I am the most high, there is none like me. Declare the end from the beginning, and from ancient times, the things that are not yet done, mm -hmm. saying, my counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasure. That's right, and we at the end, man, the, the Lord declaring the end from the beginning, you know, this is uh, when you go back to Second Ezra, the ninth chapter, you know, we measure in the time diligently. He, he said, be on the lookout. When we read in Matthew 24, you know, uh, wars, rumors of wars, earthquakes in diverse places, famines and pestilence, you know, and when it's, it's in the more clues, it says earthquakes and uh, sedition among men and, uh, you know, uproars of the people. You know, this is the Lord declaring the end from the beginning. So we're at the end of the movie. Those that are in the light know what's going to happen. Now we just got to just be patient. Uh, stay prayed up, be circumspect, and wait for it to happen, huh? Come on. Uh, second Ezra chapter 6, verse 7. Then answered I and said, What shall be the parting of Sunday of the times? Mm. Or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau. That's right. For Esau is the end of the world. And Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. And that's another indicator, another sign. Before Jacob, which is the Israelites, which is you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, will have a kingdom that dwelleth in righteousness and forever, we, there's going to be a ruler before us. And that one is Esau Edom. That's the so-called white man. So Esau is the end of the world. The Lord is going to come back and remove these crowns off these kings and mainly remove Esau from his position of power. And he is now going to go and taste that uh, 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 that cup, which is slavery, which is oppression, which is uh, 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 uh you know, which is, 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 is justified, man. We had to go through it. So these are just signs that Esau is going to be the last power, the last nation in power before our kingdom is established. So that's also 
Esau's in power. You see wars and rumors of wars, earthquakes in diverse places. You see pestilence, famines. These are signs that we at the end and the Lord is soon to come. Man. And we're here to pretty much like our elder Amar says in, from, uh, from our camp. We are here. Our role is to uh, roll out the red carpet for our Lord, man. And, and pretty much wake up and push that vibration for the uh, elect to pretty much to, to repent, man. Oh. Yeah. So, uh, we got anything else, bro? Good, bro? So, with that, man, we pray everything was edifying. We want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahushai, by Hashem, Kadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well and taught us this truth. And peace and salutations to you, uh, to you, Akim. Oh, peace and salutations to the Bayaf Dawada. That's the house of David, the elect. And uh, until next time, we want to say, I don't want Ratazah, which means Lord willing. Shalom. Shalom.